Hi hey guys, Keith Thargenberg Farms. It is the first week of April, and over the past week we had some super high wind events all week long, and this is the result. We are now in a topless greenhouse. So, today we're going to be going through and pulling new plastic. Well, actually, we're going to do that in the morning. So, let me show you. Also, don't forget hardenbergfarms.com digital tools and training scroll down the bottom uh, we got a bunch of cool stuff down there we've got the side opener kits there as well also any uh, consulting you can get and register through there um, another thing gonna be at Mother Earth News Fair this weekend it's Saturday and Sunday in Lawrence Kansas it's gonna be a great fair there's a bunch of cool people speaking there and me as well I do two on Saturday and one on Sunday so hope to see y'all there So I was actually in the structure when it happened. Um, the wind was really calming down quite a bit, but we we're getting some big gusts coming through. So it was more of like stop and then stop and then turns out one of those pushed through because I had the south wall open and I had forgotten to close it down and open up the north wall over here. And it basically just came in and just popped it. It went pop and the whole thing on this side stripped up went straight over the top, tore down both sides, and was flapping off of the ridge board over here. I actually, uh, well, I guess that's a hip board. I actually went through with my knife and cut it all because it was going over into the other plot areas and actually starting to damage some stuff over there. But I was over here weeding the garlic when it happened. Um, the great thing about it was I immediately ran over to my computer in the office up there and ordered my greenhouse plastic. I actually went through a bootstrap farmer for this because I looked at a few and they were the best price but they had the thicker seven layer type stuff that i was actually looking for um ordered that let's see that was three days ago yeah called them the next day say hey i got an order in my greenhouse just blew out can you get it out to me as soon as possible uh she said she didn't know if she'd be able to help me out or not turns out i got it in two days so thank you bootstrap farmer that is awesome i can't thank you enough so now we're gonna get this thing up and back on here literally tomorrow so in the morning i got a couple people coming we're gonna uh hook the piece of plastic both ends with ropes and we'll pull it up over the top strap that thing down and then probably the next day i'll work on getting the roll-up sides back on but for now i just need to get top back on it i've got a lot of stuff planted in here that's not equipped for what just happened it's going to be quite a shock for it going to being in a greenhouse to being in open light it also rained that night and hailed on it so needs to say, there's stuff going, but it ain't happy. And the tomatoes also are supposed to go in this week too. Like this weekend, they're gonna go in today. So, on to putting up the plastic. been about a week since I got the plastic back on this thing and it has been just downright windy ever since then I did have one opportunity right at dusk 
to go through and tighten the plastic on this greenhouse. I just started in the middle, worked my way across, worked our way across the other way, got about down to like the second from last bow, and then started from the top and worked this way, worked this way down here, and then brought them both together. I got a really good stretch on it. I'm very happy with it. Now I got to get the side curtains back up and activated. I did this so long ago, I couldn't remember exactly how I did it. I, I kind of used some duct tape and stuff, but I think I might have found a better way. So we're going to go ahead and try that and see how it works. Get this baby back up and active and get the automatic roller on the end hooked back up. Now to the tricky part, which is adding the roll up side curtain. It's a trick I learned from Bootstrap Farmer. You actually use a pair of lineman plier to line yourself up, put the handles towards your baseboard on the bottom, pull it down tight, pull it towards you tight, then put one pan head screw in it. Doing this so the curtain will be even all the way across. I actually started in the middle and then worked my way towards both ends. As you can see, it's pretty darn windy out still, but this is actually the first day in two weeks that I had weather that the wind was blowing out of the north and not the south because this is south side of the greenhouse. So I actually went along and worked my way from the middle and worked my way down both sides. Now this is a very important step so your curtain will actually roll up evenly for you. If you don't do this and you just kind of grab it and roll it up your plastic probably wasn't on there straight to begin with and it'll roll up one side quicker than the other and that's no good. You won't be able to fully vent won't be able to fully tie down. It just does not work that well. So I worked my way down to the end where the actual automated side curtain is because this is the automated side. And it's very important to get this back up and going because this is what keeps me from having to roll this thing up and down continuously. So I did a real quick test run there that I didn't get on video. And it seemed to work fine, so I'm going to cut off the excess plastic because I don't want it binding up when we actually put the last little cap that retains it on the system. So we're just cutting off the excess and working our way back down. And then we're going to do a test run real quick. Now I engage the curtain. Going up, looks nice. Kind of making sure it goes tight because we're going to actually and I went along and rolled the side curtain up and down until it just rests on the stops which are the eye hooks and then there's these little u hooks which i installed after rolling it up and down i can kind of bend those to catch it a little bit better in the center but ideally just looking for something somewhat smooth that's sitting on it i'll get a little bit of billowing but that's what the anti-billow ropes are for now i'll go through and start putting the main strap on this I'm getting this thing tied down. Now this is the material I have to actually secure the side curtains on. It's actually specifically built for roll-up curtains. I went through and pre-drilled all this originally when I originally put it on at looks like about one foot centers all the way down it. I'll use self-tapping screws to secure it. Now the bottom side goes on the bar so it wraps around it and kind of clamps it in multiple spots and then the top side is recessed enough to hide the top of the screw so you don't have to worry about tearing up your plastic with that little sharp thing. Pretty simple. You start at one end, work your way to the other. Um, all my pieces are already pre-cut because they've already been on here once. So I have a decent idea of where they go because I can see the old holes. I do not want to go into those because they've rusted and kind of like wallered out. So I'm just going to shift over just a little bit when I start installing these. Again, just putting it up on my stops. Kind of lining up the old stuff and the new stuff and getting ready to go on it. From here it's pretty simple. I'll just screw this off and work my way all the way down.
I did actually repeat this process on the other side with the uh, manual crank. Uh, actually, like two or three days later, the wind switched back to the south, so I was able to work on the north. I've had to do all of this at basically nightfall because it's actually calm enough to do it. The whole reason I lost the whole entire top of my greenhouse is because of the wind event that we are in, and it just didn't stop. Now I'm inserting the clips on the top for my anti-billow rib. Um, this keeps it from doing what you're actually seeing right now, where it is buffering in and out. The rope is the key to keep it from doing this. I will tell you that, uh, I might even mention it, that the rope I'm using right now is the same rope I used. This has been replaced because it already had spots where it was worn through. Always important, whenever you change your plastic, change out every other breakable part while you're doing it. So I'm just threading it through my bottom hooks all the way across, and come down to the end, and I'll bring it up, and I will tie it off on my top clip. And there we go. We've got it up and active, and ready to roll. Again, we sell these side current kits on ArkenbergFarms.com. Brawn bottom, digital tools, and training for an automated side curtain that's temperature dependent. Pretty cool. And as always, hope you all liked this Saturday. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. Have a good day.